Uh, okay, today I want to show you how to do a flexible uh, grid layout using the wrap feature, uh, auto layout wrap, and using minimum widths um, to give you sort of this layout where you can have them either square or fill in depending on whether they are alone in that row. So you can see here if I remove this pink square then our yellow square moves up and takes over the available space. I add the pink square back in, it moves down and fills the space. If I were to duplicate it, then it would um, become two column, and if I were to duplicate that again, it moves to the row and fills in, which is a very handy feature. <coughs> Pardon me. So, let me show you how you do it. So I've got a container. I've got it set to auto layout wrap. Uh, I center lined it. it for this exercise, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I got my padding, and that's fine, and my spacing. And I know how much, um, what, what size these squares have to be to fit two of them in. Um, and that's 164. So if I do that, that's great. And I can duplicate this, and I get two. Perfect. Duplicate it again. I get one on the bottom. Not exactly what we're looking for. <clears throat> so let's. What happens if we switch all of these? And we'll say fill. Well, that doesn't work either. That's not what I'm looking for. Because what it actually does is it says it's wrapping, but everything you're putting in here is set to fill. So it'll never wrap, it'll just fill the container. So what we're going to do instead, get rid of those, we're going to take our square, we're going to go up to width, and we are going to set a minimum width of 164. Now, if we set that to fill, that's fine. That's expected behavior. Duplicate it. That's expected behavior. And now if I do one more duplication, it moves it to the bottom row because these can never be smaller than 164. So when you're filling the container, you can't cram them in uh, any, any smaller than 164. So it moves it to the next line and expands it out. And you'll see when you duplicate that one, it'll fill until it hits 164. So that, quick and easy, is how you create a flexible auto layout wrap grid uh, that fills the container based on your minimum widths. Uh, there's lots more around this that you can do, but hopefully this gets you started. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out Patreon and subscribe. Thanks.